this problem is 2.5 here there is a design used in the rail transportation and there is this member AB which is given to you as rigid meaning this is not going to deform it is attached with this truss structure AC and we need to figure out under these force conditions how much angle this AB is going to make with horizontal this is the problem okay so now uh, if you separate this AB section out on this AB section there are these two supports on this side here and here and this force P which is given as 100 this one is 1.5 and since total is 2 so this is going to be 0.5 now on this side here because there is only one truss member AC there so maybe there is a vertical force coming there let's call this R1 similarly R2 going there we don't know the value of this we can figure out by doing the force and moment balance here okay so for this AB member if I do the force balance I can write down R1 plus R2 equals to P and if I take moment about point A here then I can say 1.5 times 100 and 2 times R2 here so this gives us a value of R2 equals to 75 kilo newtons and R1 as 25 kilo newton these are the forces on AB here equal and opposite forces will be going on these truss members so if I consider this AC for example here now AC is experiencing a force R1 is going up that means this R1 will come here which is 25 kilo newtons so it's a two force member so there will be equal and opposite force coming from there and if you need to find out the deformation in AC you can use Hooke's law which is PL over EA and all of these numbers will be coming from your AC so the force in AC is 25 kilo newtons the length here is 1 meter the area is 100 centimeter square and your elastic modulus is 205 gigapascals that is for steel okay so if I do this calculation the number that I get is 0 0.012 centimeters now if you want to look at what is happening at point B there are these two members there we have this FBC maybe coming here FBD there and this force R2 which was upwards on this AB member so it's going to be downward on this joint so I can separate this joint here in joint B and I can draw these forces so your R2 goes down here your FBC goes here and your FBD is on this side now since only FBC has an X component so this FBC has to be equals to 0 right now from this we can see that your FBD is going to be R2 and the sign comes out as negative because it's going to be a compressive force there so you can put a negative sign that means nothing but it's a compressive force now similarly we can find out delta BD also here so we use the same idea so PL over EA for member BD okay so force in this case because it's R2 R2 value is 75 so 75 kilo newtons L again same height both of them BD is also same height area in this case is 75 so 1 meter goes here area 75 centimeter square and elastic modulus is 205 GPA again so if I do this calculation, I get delta BD value as 0.0049 centimeters. Now the problem is asking the angle AB is going to make from horizontal. So originally your AB is like this and after deformation, this point moves down by 0.0012 centimeters and this point right here moves by 0.0049 centimeters. So you can see that there is this angle that is coming there and if I am interested in this angle theta so this height right here is 0 0.049 minus 0 0.002 so 0 0.0037 and the gap here is 2 meters so I can write for tan theta equals to 0 0.0037 centimeters divided by 2 meters so this right here is a very very small number and if you calculate this in degrees this comes out to be roughly 
3 into 10 power minus 6 degrees. So that's the answer.